The police with their uniforms and their guns have always been the worst criminal to us. The police officer shot Common Jay Walker three times. We had the murder trial. The police officer was acquitted on all three charges related to Common Jay's death. He's working again, wearing that same uniform that he wore when he shot a young fella so violently. His name is Zachary Rolfe. A jury found Zachary Rolfe not guilty in less than a day. This was a verdict that was too much to bear for the family of Kuman Jai Walker. Zachary Rolfe's text messages were initially struck out of the murder trial, but were finally released during the coronial inquest. The lawyer suggesting that they were important in understanding Rolfe's and some Northern Territory police officers' attitudes about Aboriginal people. His history in particular is quite concerning. I, alongside many others, have fear about who he is in that position. It wasn't a fair trial. Him going free broke our heart. It's really bad for Yapa. Yapa was feeling so angry. Why did he get this job back? When we heard Ralph get the job back as the police officer, it really hurt us all. We sat in the courtroom for five weeks, the entire duration of the murder trial. We saw him every single day. He knows what we look like and who we are. When I go back and forth to Yundamu and Darwin, sometimes I feel worried, concerned about my safety for me and my kids, because one of my sons autistic. I don't feel safe in Darwin while he's working. There's a lot of Walpuri people, desert people that are based in Darwin and that live in Darwin, regardless whether he has an office job or not. You never know what he's doing, you know, because office job could be anything, like going through data, and that's our privacy. They should have just asked him to go find another job. There's many other states and territories in this country. I want a man of Northern Territory. They should give him a job in Canberra or wherever he come from. Northern Territory is the way we grew up. Kumunye as well. The fact that he's back and that he's here instills an innate fear, but also an innate distrust for the police force.